Former volleyball player turned sprinter Nicholas Bett is bracing for a tough season ahead. The reigning 400 meter hurdles world champion is eager to prove his status after a disappointing 2016. The 27 year old endured a difficult year, crashing out of the Olympics in the first heat and suffered personal loss with the passing of his son. In 2017, Bett says he has put the year that was behind him. I am ready to face the season stress-free. I have worked on my hurdling technique, which was part of the reason I didn't do well at the Olympics. Initially, I jumped the hurdles only with my right leg, but now I'm able to use both feet, which has improved my performance. Bet trains alongside his brother Harun Koech, Olympic 400-meter hurdles silver medalist Bonfess Musheru, and another hurdler Kiprono Koske. For two weeks last month, this group of sprinters got the chance to work with Felix Sanchez, the two-time world and Olympic champion from the Dominican Republic, and they say that his advice was invaluable. Felix helped me realize I wasn't building up enough endurance for this event. He showed me that I wasn't doing enough intervals for the 600 meter to one mile distance, which is key in building endurance. Since I began huddling, I hadn't been doing this workout, but now it's incorporated in my program. And actually we learned a lot from him, like, like technique. Yeah, that's what I wanted, because we lack that uh, confidence in techniques of doing these things, but now, Having done so, I have learned about techniques. 34-year-old Mumo is a retired athlete who now works as a coach. He attributes the recent rise of Kenyan sprinters to support which was unavailable during his running days. When I was running, actually, I missed like these things now we are doing. Because I had no Kanban, like sponsoring. But now we see we have Kanban, like now he's sponsoring these guys. So we have a project. We like that project from maybe company to sponsor, good coach, facilities, those things. But now these guys, they are doing well because they, they got that motisha, I mean morale. The group of three, Bert, Koech and Musheri, will travel to the Dominican Republic next month where they will continue to work with Sanchez before the outdoor season begins. Bert is eyeing a better Diamond League season in 2017. Last year, the Diamond League was disappointing for me because it was my first time and I hadn't really grasped how different the one-day meets are from the championship races. But now I'm sure I will be able to get better results. In a country where middle and long distance athletes enjoy royalty status, Bert and his band of hurdlers and sprinters are slowly changing this perception. The world champion hopes that successfully defending his title at the Worlds in London will prove that success in Kenyan athletics isn't limited to long distances and ultimately draw more youth to the shorter races. Celestine Caronet, CGTN, in Nairobi.